Hello everyone, welcome to What's Trending from South by Southwest. I'm Shira Lazar. We are coming to you from the Samsung Blogger Lounge at the Convention Center in Austin, Texas. I'm so excited. We are of course here because of Samsung. So keep on watching. We have a ton of people coming through. Online influencers, celebrities, everyone who's here, they'll be coming by the Samsung Blogger Lounge for interviews. We're also taking your questions. So tweet us at What's Trending, hashtag South by Southwest, and we will ask all those great questions to our wonderful guests and I'm so excited to introduce our first inaugural guest of the entire South by Southwest 2012 here Gary Vaynerchuk yes thank you so much how are you I'm great how are you I am well I am uh, doing well I'm feeling well uh, it's good to see you I love your new hair color I appreciate you're, that you're I was, like, was gonna ask you I know that hair is a big thing beauty and hair is a big thing for you <laughs> you're an yes. expert at it yes, I'm no not. Really. what year is this for you at South by Southwest this is year number five for me at South by five. so half decade in uh, for sure I'm not speaking which is a, a, a relief and a disappointment like now that I'm here I'm like oh wait a minute maybe I should have spoke because I love the peeps so much and I love them to listen to all my words um, but it's good. It's really good. I'm excited to be here. How have you seen it change? Like, what would be the, it's all the energy like things. this year? You know, it's weird. This is the closest I've been to, c to the convention center for the first three. In the th it's my third day, and I this is the first time I've walked into it. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, it's raining. So that is. is like a big curveball to what's happened in the past. Um, I, you know, there's 20,000 people at Interactive, not 2,000. So that's a difference from five years ago. Um, I'm like really uh, just excited to be here because there's so many more people and the space is growing. Yeah. But on the flip side, there's nice things about small that you can't have anymore, but you can make it as small as you want. I had a great jam session last night with 30 friends. You came to a jam session last year. Indeed. Um, so you know, you can control it. I, I think getting bigger is awesome. I'm all for everything. Nothing really bothers me one way or the other. You're always gung-ho about something <coughs> going on in the space. So this year, what is that thing? Uh, I'm very, very high on Pinterest. Okay. You know, I was devastated I wasn't able to invest in it because I was hot on it like, a, a, you know, six to eight months ago and I kind of missed it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's one of the most interesting sites we've had in a long time. I think it has a chance to be the wish list of the internet itself. Hmm. I think it talks about micro content sharing. As an investor in Tumblr, it has that same like kind of share capabilities. It does, yeah. Intuitive, very easy sharing. So I'm hot on Pinterest. Uh, you know, I'm hot on the gamification of the world. Uh, I'm hot on like people discovery, the things that highlight and won and Yo Bongo last year we're trying to do. I think that's interesting. I'm hot on the fact that we're at, that valuations are ridiculous. Is it a bubble though? You know, it's dangerous to say it's a bubble because software is taking over the world. Mm. So I'm I'm scared to say it's a bubble, but valuations are high. You know, the rumored half a billion for Instagram. Uh, you know, big numbers are out there. So, uh, you know. Um, Uber had a big round. Yeah. You know, rumors of Path having a big round. There's a lot of buzz of like these two, three, four, five. And what is it about those companies that you think are bringing in the money what and the investment? Um, I think that I think that people are trying to jump on the train, and and they're seeing, you know, all these companies that are actually making revenue now. Some aren't. The yeah. potential Dropbox five billion dollar valuation, Crazy. but he makes money. Drew, Drew had a curve a hockey stick of revenue not of users so that made a lot of sense to me i think people just want to be part of our space you know you see yeah. hollywood now you're you know you've got la like you know knowledge all of the hollywood celebrities are now trying to invest everybody's trying to jump on this train that is now kind of tech startup is pop culture mm -hmm. and uh and that's what you know what's going i mean this is why you guys it's do all what intertwined you're doing. it's converging and so like la new york sf all that stuff is intertwining. Middle America is getting in the mix. Uh, it's interesting times in our space. We're starting to hit a crescendo. Oh, I like that word. Yeah, Michael Jackson, smooth <laughs> criminal. So you talked about Pinterest. Let's go back to that. How can people take advantage of that? Content creators, entrepreneurs, people that are all about you know building their brand and following. It's beyond just women, because I know like the big I mean, thing it's is it's a lot of women. It's super heavy for the ladies right yeah. now, but you know my wine board is doing incredible on it. Mm -hmm. So like you know. There's plenty of reasons for, I mean, I'm doing my sports stuff on it. I think guys will come. Um, I think the way you take advantage of it is becoming part of the community. It's yeah. the same old thing, right? It's not about what you put out. It's about going around and finding stuff and repinning it and becoming part of the community. Um, I, I think that stuff is massively important. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's a massive driver of traffic. So if you understand how to play in that space, the outgoing links from Pinterest is, are, are shocking. 
and I, I think that's super important to understand. People are trying to get attention. Yeah. We're, every person here, all the photographers, all the people here, we're all in the eyeballs and ears business. Yeah. Pinterest has lots of eyeballs, and they're willing to go to your page from the Pinterest platform, which makes it a little bit different than a Facebook environment. Interesting, because they're not just staying on Facebook. Correct. Yes. What about your books? Now, yes. you were just an author extraordinaire now. What book are you working on next? Or what are you, you know, doing I'm, now? I'm not actively thinking about a book right now. You know, my last two books, big New York Times bestselling books. I did really well. I'm super happy about that. Much like I'm not speaking this year, I think that I need to shut up a little bit. Right now, I'm really focused on VaynerMedia. I'm okay. Building a business. You know, I built a $70 million wine business before I came into this space, and I think that's what made me relevant. I was a real businessman. Yeah. Then I became a big talking head, author, speaker, and I feel like, not that I lost my way, that was what I wanted to do then, mm -hmm. and now I'm back to building a business. I kind of took over day-to-day -day operations, you know, along with AJ on VaynerMedia in the fall. We've gone from 30 to 100 employees in the last five months. That is crazy. So we're really growing. We've landed a lot of business, a lot of you know, GE, PepsiCo, Campbell's, you know, uh, major clients like that. So we're doing a lot of interesting work, Green Mountain Coffee, a lot of interesting TV stuff like Discovery Channel, yeah. American Idol. So we're like really kind of starting to crush a little bit. Um, and so I'm excited about maybe coming next year to South By and being like, hey, in the last three years we've built a $40 million a agency. A new case study. We case study, we do content and community management. We're, uh, we're trying to be a full service social media agency. What advice do you give those people who maybe don't get social media, <coughs> those huge companies, the networks, to get into <coughs> it and build authentic communities? Um, you know, I, I think they do get it. I just don't think they, 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 want, they want to talk more than they want to listen. Mm -hmm. And so I would say that it's about two ears and one mouth instead of the other way around. And so we try to get them to play as authentic as possible, which is very difficult for a lot of them. Yeah. Um, but not as difficult as you think. Big brands do get it. They just want to sell shit. Are, Damien, am I allowed to curse on this show? <laughs> I'm not here. Am I good? Dude, am I good? <laughs> sure, it's fine. I, I'm it's good? Okay, just keep on going. Um, so, you know, they just want to sell stuff. And so, uh, and so you need to have business logic. It can't just be like rah, rah, social media. And yeah. uh, they're doing real business, and that's what I care about, so that's why we've all gotten along. Very cool. Well, what, what else is going on? Anything else? Um, Misha, my uh, <laughs> two and a half family, daughter, is uh, my heart and soul. She is uh, the most incredible thing ever. Um, I'm very focused still on buying the New York Jets. So really, that's a, that's going that. to happen for you. Yeah, I feel very very visualizing. Happy. No, I'm not into the secret stuff. Executing. So uh, executing. Highlight. Let's talk about highlight quickly. That's a big app. A lot of people are buzzing about it. What are your thoughts? What's the Gary V take on highlights? I mean, I invested in Yobongo and in One, which mm -hmm. are completely pretty much highlight yeah. amongst different nuances. I believe in people discovery. I think that Instagram works because it made people better at taking photos. Yeah. I think Wine Library TV worked because I made people better in knowing about wine. Uh -huh. I think when you bring value, your show works because you're keeping people up with important people and trends. You have to bring value. Mm -hmm. Anybody that figures out how to make an app that creates ice breaking in the thing that brings the most value in the world, which is people. My life is better because you and I are friends. I firmly believe that. And because of the acquaintances I have, I think that anybody that figures out how to make an app that helps people meet each other will become the next $100 billion company. So I think Highlights Upside is enormous. Paul, the founder, mm -hmm. is incredible, mm -hmm. one of the co-founders. And uh, I'm bullish on their, their chances. Well, you heard it here first. The trends of 2012 mm -hmm. with Gary Vaynerchuk at Gary V on Twitter. Follow him right now. Thank you Facebook. so much. Facebook.com slash Gary. Are you more into now into the Facebook thing? No, like, would you like, decide where no, to no, promote? I was just bragging that I have <laughs> Facebook.com slash Gary. I just think that's, that's incredible. That's good to know. That's a big so thing I'm, to get. You know, humble bragging is, is something I'm very uh, into. <laughs> Well, thank you so thanks much Shira. for stopping by thanks today. So much. And more from the Samsung Blogger Lounge at South by Southwest with What's Trending coming up soon. We will be back, actually, with Forrest Whitaker. Jesus. So send us your questions right now at What's Trending, hashtag South by Southwest. Paul Davidson from Highlight will also be coming nice. by in a bit. So we have a ton of people. This is the, Shakira, the live Lady, stream Lady to Gaga, be on. Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, <laughs> no. Mark Sanchez, <laughs> and everyone. Tom Brady the whole all world. coming up. <laughs> all that. So keep it right here. We'll be back in a few minutes.